Hello. Bling bling. Some things have changed since the last time I shot a little video. As you can see, things are progressing nicely. Uh, it's probably been like a week or so. Uh, all the painting has been completed and uh, just been assembling things. So we'll just look at a couple things. This isn't the uh, grand reveal, so you're going to have to come back for the uh, plastic removal. But we waited this long, you can wait another week or two. Here to the side. We got the plumbing parts in a day or two ago, so wrapped that up. So that pretty much sums up the air system. You can see it comes in off of this little pigtail here. This is a little remnant we had left over from a roofing job, and it's nice. It's Flexzilla. It's a little different than. Normal shop air kind of stuff. Flexible, hence the name. Airline regulator dryer. Um, that is a quick exhaust for the intensifier. Got the one shot and the drawbar hard lines on as well. And their little brackets. And then they come up and there's the bulkhead fitting for the one shot and that's where the hard line then continues or transitions into a soft line into the cable chain and onto the uh, head. So yeah, that's the back. I guess we'll peer through here. Those are the lights, there's one in that corner, one in that corner, you can see they turn this way and also adjust that way. When I go to wire them in, they'll just do like a loop around and then they come under the drain and work towards the uh, makeup box. Also have the doors on there, still need to align and tighten them but I went and cut all of the uh, fasteners that needed to be cut down stainless nylocks probably didn't need the nylocks but they look sort of cool so they work nice I'm gonna add a little bumper at the end and uh, they got magnets as well it's just like a hardware store you're gonna build like an entertainment center kind of generic door magnet but once it's adjusted it has like a nice little pop detent and then here's the edge this is you know in an effort to try to seal the joint when they uh, close this is just a piece of hand formed uh, this is polycarbonate these are polycarbonate as well but I think the drawer slides will work good. They're pretty well protected, like this is closed and granted they're clear so you can see them. But maybe when you open them you can get crap in there, but I mean, you gotta remember what we're doing here. What else? I guess we'll go around to the front. The paint job turned out pretty good. There's that uh, bottom line, all the stuff. I mean, I spent some time. I mean, it's not perfect. It's, you know, you can see sanding marks here and there, but it's a machine. Most importantly, the paint is nice and uh, it feels really, really nice. It doesn't, it feels like a real paint. So that's cool. Oh, here's the door handles. Pretty cool. They both point that way because if it pointed the other way, it would actually hit there and like bang onto there. So 
I'm actually surprised that like everything has worked out like really, really, really smoothly. Um, you know, I see lots of people on the forums and YouTube and stuff and it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to try to do a little bit more of it, but uh, lots of CAD, like they model shit out and like, you know, they basically build it before they build it. And uh, the only stuff that had anything to do with the computer on this, uh, like CAD modeling wise, were of course the 3D printed parts and the uh, way covers were also drawn up in CAD and uh, 3D printed to make sure that they were going to fit before uh, they were made in China. So everything else was sort of, you know, uh, napkin sketches and, you know, just as we go. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty cool. But things like, you know, having to turn uh, both of the door handles that way, like, it's fine, doesn't bother me, you know, I think it adds a little bit of uh, interest, but uh, yeah. I don't know if he could have accounted for that in CAD, but I'll be damned. HMI. It's pretty much done. I got to still glue the keyboard and the monitors on, but and then adjust the magnet and make a bumper or a stop for here. But you can see it pivots out. And let's see if I can open this. So the monitor, monitor will be on there. And then the keyboard goes on there. And I mean, I guess if you probably don't need to turn it, you could just have it a la Akbar. <laughs> a la Akbar. Uh, yeah, this paint is pretty cool. This was not important. You can see uh, I just painted this side to get it covered. There's going to be stuff that goes over it. Just slopped it down on a piece of aluminum to paint the other side, but pretty fun. Billet, homie. And then here's the edge guard, then 3M tape, stainless. It's funny. I was looking at a Haas at school, and uh, the edge guard on the new uh, VF2. Same thing, same says polyfilm universal. So it must be like a standard stainless protective covering. I guess we can open these. Tra la la! Got the base all bolted down and sealed. Oh, I guess we'll show the bottom here. Hopefully, the light is workable. So that's what that base is held down through all of it with, and then there's those plates that sort of distribute the load. And then this is all sealed up, and then these are, you know, blind holes that are tapped, um, and the base will, you know, bolt to there. And then here is the castings that still need to be assembled. Um, I can't remember the fellow's name, but uh, I think he's on the CNC zone. Uh, made a super uh, valid point that I never even thought about and I think it's worth mentioning so Sorry, I forgot your name, but Super awesome uh, Yeah, so granted this has covers and stuff on it, but it's not sealed so uh, You know coolant and you know schmoo and oil and grease and stuff can get down in there so if this thing is sealed to that base then you know it's inevitable that it's sort of going you know, to fill up and sort of fester so it's like, oh, you need to put some sort of spacers or let this drain. So uh, yeah, cool deal. Gonna do that. Um, I think instead of like raising the base off of the other base, I'll probably just flip this over and put it in the, uh, the mill and uh, just with like a ball end mill or something, uh, just cut some grooves like, you know, a cutting board. So stuff can drain out, you know, it doesn't need to be crazy just so there could be some sort of movement. So yeah, interesting. It's a saddle. Oil manifold thing. There's the column. 
the column is of course all painted and the rails have been aligned and installed and torqued and all that. I even got to put the uh, green caps in. It's really, really, it's like a milestone in my life, basically. I was looking forward to it. Got those Zerks. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's a smooth operator, no doubt. It's got a nice firm preload. So I guess the next step on this is to pull this back off and start getting the screw and whatnot in there. Not really much work left on this. And lastly, the table. So this is all ready. I still need to align them. Uh, I put all the screws in, they're not tight, but um, so after this, uh, once the rails are aligned, put the screw in there and get that all aligned and then work on the saddle and the base and things will progress nicely. So I think that's about it. So yeah, until the next one, I'll make one here again shortly. Um, thanks for watching and Thanks for following, subscribing. Um, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks.